Hello Norman, it's just me. I've got some brilliant news for you. Well, go on then, Zack. Let me know. Don't keep me in suspense. I have just talked to ITV. They're bringing back the bill and they want you to be the chief writer. Oh, <laughs> oh fantastic. Oh, this is amazing. I've got some brilliant ideas. <laughs> um, <laughs> you've got to be joking. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> Only joking. Your mother's died. <laughs> I just didn't want to upset you, you know. Cushion the blow. So, they're not bringing back the bill? No, Norman, they're, uh, they're not. Um, my, my mother's... Dead, yes, Norman. Stone dead. Oh my god. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> Only joking? <laughs> no, no, no. The real news is I put you into university. You're going to lead a, uh, a lecture on screenwriting. Knock them dead, pal. <laughs> Can everybody just settle down, please? Can everybody just settle down? Right, okay. I'm afraid that we haven't managed to get Paul Abbott in this morning, which I apologise for, as he could not get here. However, we have managed to secure one of the writers from the bill. So, if we could all put our hands together and give a loud applause for Mr Norman P Woodman. Of the bill over the tape for my journeys in the car. Hello, I'm Norman P. Woodman and I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Uh, brief background I, um, I was an only child and my dad was just a bank clerk and my mother a simple tea lady. I couldn't, uh, they couldn't afford books, so I had to write my own little story. Don't want to hear your life story, mate. This is a lecture, not a freaking... Children in yeah. need program. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get there. You see, you see what you did? Um, well, um, basically, um, I just wanted to be a writer. I would be a highly acclaimed, um, well-liked writer and s for anything. Which is quite funny, really, because I wanted to be a sailor when I was a kid. Well, take your armbands and piss off back to the ocean, then. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't mind, I did write an episode of The Bill. And it was one of the most acclaimed episodes of The Bill they've ever made. Is that why The Bill was cancelled? No, no, no. The reason why The Bill was cancelled, if you watched the ITV2 documentary, because I know I did, there they ended it because people weren't interested in it. <laughs> what did you write apart from the bill? <laughs> what did I write? <laughs> what, uh, uh, what, I, <laughs> what I wrote was, uh, I wrote a, a novel called uh, Tears From My Heart <laughs> and um, a pilot for a CBBC uh, show called Spooky the Spooky Spider with uh, Graham Cole as the narrator. Weren't you on the guy on the internet that insulted Robson Green? Uh, no, I think you must be mistaken with someone else. Yeah, it was him. I knew it. What a tosser. All right, all right, it was me, OK? Yes, it was me, and I'll tell you why. Because he's just an ass. OK? He's got all these women following him, and I don't even like his fishing programme, OK? The only, the only reason that they watch this fishing programme is because they like the way he suggestively holds his rod. Now, I can probably just go now because I'm meant to be a guest speaker and try to inspire you, but no, apparently you'd rather just mock me and think of me as someone who's not clever. Well, I'll tell you this, okay? I'll tell you this. 
If you don't like it, I'll just walk out. Unless you can keep quiet and let me finish. <sighs> Where were we? I thought they said no phones in here. Turn your phone. Oh, it's mine. Oh, it could be my good friend Graham Cole, the actor from The Bill. But uh, hmm, that only comes with people who are highly acclaimed in the writing industry. Hello, Graham. Oh, Judy, hi. Um, you can say anything you'd like to me right now. I'm currently somewhere where I can speak aloud and be proud of it. What, what do you mean you have chlamydia? But, but I, I can't have chlamydia. How are you? Why, why are you blaming me? It, it can't be me. We only had sex about a year ago, remember? It's clean as a whistle down there. Tell you what, you're, you're on your own. Ha, ha. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Okay. Um, I, I, sorry. Where were we? Watch out, Wardman's got AIDS. <laughs> didn't you we'll not? catch it. <laughs> sorry if anyone heard that, but let me remind you, I am fine. Okay? I am fine. I've only had sex once, you see, and that was with Julie, okay? And that was a while ago. So don't get the wrong end of the stick. And if it's your stick, we haven't got a hope in hell. Right, I've had enough, okay? I've had enough of this. You all are pathetic, okay? All of you, all wastes of people. Honestly, I come here out of the goodness to go and give a speech to hopefully let you aspire into the world of screenwriting. But no, apparently it's better to just laugh at the person who's trying to address you. But no, you just can't take like anyone. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you all of this. Okay, right, you're all just sponges, all right? You're all thick as crap. Okay? I don't care. You won't make it anywhere in the industry, and I know why, because you're all just Flippin' idiots, all right? And, I, and I'm better than all of you because I've made a name for myself, okay? Mr. Woodman, I think it's best if you left. But, but I haven't finished my speech. No, 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 Mr. Woodman. I think it's best if you leave. Fine. Bye, loser. Wanker. You'll never amount to anything. Uh, Just leave! Sorry, I forgot my pencil case. <laughs> the tears are filling up their glasses. No expression, no expression. Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrows. No tomorrow, no tomorrow And I find it kind of funny What are you doing here? You haven't paid me yet. 